The economy, as we said, adding 75,000 jobs in May. Missed the estimates. Let's bring in Kevin Hassett, White House Council of Economic Advisors Chairman. Kevin, thanks for joining us. Great to be here, Ashley. Thanks. Uh, bottom line, disappointing jobs report, right? Yeah, it was a little bit below expectation, but, you know, about half the story is something I haven't seen discussed much on the news channels, that mm -hmm. there is a significant Midwest weather effect with the flooding of the Mississippi. Mm. You know, there, there are all these ports that are closed. I-29 was closed. And so uh, construction and transportation mm. and warehousing employment was down, we think, about 40,000 relative to what would have happened if the weather was normal. And it's for, so it's still a little bit of a, of a blip down, but, you know, we're still sticking to our guns that we think we got a 3% year. The rest of the data is still looking pretty strong. All right. Another one for you, Kevin. The Hill reporting that the president is planning to call a national emergency to impose tariffs on Mexico. Mm -hmm. If this thing drags on, what impact does that have on the economy? Well, let's talk about where we are with that uh, mm. before we move on to that, which is just that the president's flying back from Europe. Uh, that Secretary Pompeo has been meeting with the uh, Mexican foreign minister, uh, that they've been negotiating the solution to the border crisis in Mexico, or Mexico's contribution to it. Uh, and they've, uh, I've been, you know, it's been reported to me, they've made a lot of progress. Mm -hmm. And when the president lands, they're going to present him with, you know, basically the state of affairs and that the president's going to make a, a judgment about next steps. And so I think that there's been a lot of positive movement and the president will be presented with a lot of facts when he lands today and so i think this will be something that'll be relatively quickly moving and hopefully uh the the border security issue which is really the president's top priority is resolved uh through these measures and that the president agrees that they've accepted uh, some terms that will work uh, but if he doesn't then the tariffs will go into effect and then at that point um you know we should discuss or i can discuss it now but then at that <laughs> point you know that the tariffs we'd have to be discussed and, and at five percent uh, tariffs, you know, that's that's something that's a, you know, something that the markets could, could uh, I think, react to relatively quickly. I think we've already seen some currency movements in response right. to the risk of that. But you're a devout free trader, Kevin. Did you get <laughs> yes. a chance to whisper in the president's ear, you know, well, I don't know, Mr. President, tariffs not really the way to go. Did you get a chance to say that? You know, I, I can't talk about my frank advice to the president, but I can say that we remain very good friends and we don't agree about everything, but I always support the team's decisions, you know, uh, on the outside. But, 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 but uh, you know, I do my job on the inside as well. I'm sure you do. That said, of course, you're leaving at the end of the month. Your, your uh -huh. two year stint is up, and you say that a person in your position, two years is just about right. You're leaving That's the post right. at the White House. Um, listen to what Stephen Moore said about your possible replacement, if you can. Roll tape. Sure. Now, I'm going to throw out another name for you, if I may, okay? Are you ready for this one? I am. Sure. Because uh, he's a regular on your show, uh, and he's going to win the Presidential Medal of Freedom. But how about Arthur Laffer as the oh. President's Chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors? Well, what do you say, Kevin? Art Laffer, the Laffer curve, he's, he's a, you know, if anyone knows about the economy and free trade, is Mr. Laffer. What do you say? You know, Art's a very close friend with the President, a very close friend of mine. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I, I, I you know, can't comment on, on my replacement. The president did uh, tweet that he's going to announce it pretty much as soon as he gets back. Uh, but, you know, I can say Art, Art's a national hero. That's why he's getting the Presidential Medal of Freedom. OK, well, let me ask you this question. What's the best piece of advice you give to the person that replaces you? Oh, uh, I think that, that for every CEA chair uh, that I, you know, and I talk to pretty much everybody, Austin Goolsby, everybody says that at the beginning when you get in, the hard part is, uh, you know, creating demand for your product. A lot of times political guys <laughs> want to make decisions without the input of economists, and so you have to kind of wheedle your way in there. And I think what I would do is talk about ways to make sure that CEA is always represented at the table. Uh, Austin Goolsby once also said to me that, that the other thing to know is, is when to be out of town. <laughs> <laughs> Always good advice. And by the way, Kevin, on the left-hand side of the screen, you can't see this, but we're seeing Air Force One on the uh, tarmac in Shannon Island. The president has just gotten on board. He'll be flying home. And to your point, when he gets to the other end, or probably mid-flight, he'll know where we stand with Mexico. And maybe we'll have right. some more words from him later in the day uh, before the tariffs scheduled to go into effect, as you say, on Monday. One last one for you, Kevin. 17 automakers, I find this fascinating, have sent a letter to Mr. Trump asking him to stand down on his plans to lower emission standards. I find that interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, that, that's, not, that's not in my lane. I yeah, apologize. I'm not studied up on that's what we're right. doing with standards. I just yeah. thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. But let's get back to where we began very quickly on the jobs report. Uh, wages up year over year, 3.1%. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We've talked about this a number of times, uh, Kevin. The 
biggest problem is there are a lot of jobs that remain unfilled, some 7 million. And mm -hmm. the problem being, especially for small businesses, there's just not enough qualified workers out there to fill these jobs. How do you address that? Right, and it's, that is something that everybody expected would happen. And in fact, if you go back and look, you know, the CBO, when the president took office, expected job growth this year would be about 43,000 a month mm. because they said that it wouldn't be possible really to match people once you got to full employment to jobs. And so I think it's actually perhaps like a, a nice place to, to <laughs> end, end the jobs conversation, which is think about how strong the, the Trump economy is, that we've got a number today that's about double what the CBO uh, thought would happen this year when he was taking office, and, and people are disappointed. <laughs> right? And so that's a pretty good <laughs> metric of a strong economy. Uh, but aren't the tariffs hurting, uh, Kevin? You know, the, the Chinese uh, trade talks that drag on and on? Well, well, I mean, if you think about it, the Mexican thing began really in June, so yeah. the May number wouldn't be affected. No, and but it the may, Chinese. The, but in May, the Chinese talks did hit a roadblock, but it seems implausible that, you know, people were so optimistic about a Chinese deal before the roadblock was hit that there'd be this massive macroeconomic effect. And so I, I don't think that there's ever going to be an economic literature that finds that the May number is much influenced by that uh, one event. It doesn't matter what we talk about and what I throw at you, Kevin Hassett, you do it with a smile and with grace. And I've always enjoyed oh, talking you. to you. So thank you so much. And, thanks. And good luck in where, you know, life takes you next. All right. Thanks. Ed. Back to your family, I'm sure. Kevin, yeah. thank you so much.